Once we have created roads in Roadrunner, there are several tools available for us to customize the lanes on the road. Let's start with adding lanes using the Lane Add tool. Let's add some bicycle lanes to the overpass here. We can simply click on the Lane Add tool, then right click on the two edges of the road where we would like to add an additional lane. With the lanes added, we can use the Lane tool to select the lane and modify its attributes on the Attributes pane. In this case, we are going to change the type of lane to a bicycle lane. To make that obvious, we are going to add a bicycle stencil from the Roadrunner Asset Library to the lane as well. Simply drag the stencil onto the road and we can right click to add more markings along the road. The stencil is automatically oriented based on the travel direction of the lane. Next, let's talk about changing the width of a lane. In Roadrunner, in addition to vehicle lanes and bicycle lanes, sidewalks, medians, and shoulders are also types of lanes that we can define. We can easily change the width of the sidewalk to accommodate a bus stop, for example, by using the Lane Width tool. First, we will left-click on the sidewalk to select it, then we'll right-click four times on the sidewalk to create some control points. Instead of moving the control points directly, we can also move the sections between control points. Simply click and drag the middle section out to widen the sidewalk. Once we are happy with the shape, we can go ahead and add a bus stop as well. This is another type of asset that is available in the Roadrunner Asset Library product. Simply drag the bus stop onto the sidewalk, then adjust the rotation angle to make it parallel to the street. Another tool we can use to customize our lanes is the Lane Marking tool. This tool allows us to add and modify markings to lane boundaries. For example, let's change the center marking of this lane from a double yellow to a double white line. We can customize the marking style further by adding a specific material to the lane marking to create a damaged effect. On the Attributes pane, drag a lane marking material onto the material attribute. You can specify other properties of lane markings on the attributes pane as well. Thank you for watching.